It's a bird. It's a plane. Wait, it's Valley Cats Baseball. Super Heralds and Community Heralds Night at the Joe on Sunday, sponsored by Dunkin' Donuts. It was a final game of a three-game matchup between the Staten Island Yankees and the Tri-City Valley Cats. 4,842 fans showed up on a rainy night for an opportunity to see Heralds all around. Sponsors Dunkin' Donuts and Donate Life savored the opportunity to sponsor a great event. We started off by giving uh, Mystery Dunkin' Donut cards in amounts of $2 up to $60 for the first 1,000 fans that entered. Uh, we also have the mascot, our famous cubby. It's going to be throwing out the first pitch. We have our local franchise owners here, and it's just be great to be part of the community and to be out here and uh, support the baseball festivities. Well, we're here to represent all the eye, organ, and tissue donors in New York State who are heroes in their own right by the fact that when you sign up to be an organ donor, eye donor, tissue donor, you can save anywhere between one life to you know, tens of lives. A great night for some great causes and a baseball game. The Valley Cats were seeking the serious sweep, but on this night, it was all Staten Island, who with great hitting and pitching won 6-5. Valley Cats ace Carlos Cavedo got roughed up on the mound for the Cats, giving up five runs, but he managed to strike out seven. The Valley Cats down in the bottom of the ninth with two outs, and the score, 6-2, rallied for three runs, but it wasn't enough. The Valley Cats dropped their record to 27 wins and 29 losses still two and a half games behind the first place Vermont Lake Monsters. Even though it rained and the Yankees marched off the field with their heads held high, the Cats faithful have much to look forward to as the team heads into the All-Star break. For Valley Cats Network, Elliot Travis.